Hey guys, Dustin here, PPC Pros, doing this quick video. I'm not in the office today. I'm actually at home, so excuse the audio. But I wanted to share something that was really cool. Just look at some results from a recent um, email campaign, a, a blast that we did for a water sports operator who I'm not going to name. I'm not going to go into their specifics, of course, but I thought it was worth putting the video together. So far, um, we've seen some pretty good results. It's been a few weeks, and I was honestly on the fence with how well and you know what kind of measurement we could see from running this campaign. So I wanna share with you the idea behind it, which you're looking at on the screen, so you can take advantage of it. And whether you're in a water sports or a tour operator, or you're a tour operator, or you're just another type of business, I think the key thing is email is a great ROI channel. <clears throat> it's low cost, it's easy to implement. There's obviously some planning involved. But reality is you can plan out an email campaign relatively easily. It doesn't need to be anything crazy special. Um, we use a pretty simple email template that just has a logo kind of at the top of the header, some plain text. We obviously format a little bit and then a footer with, you know, obviously called action button. I say obviously, it's really not obvious, but we try to keep the emails really simple and not something you have to spend, you know, hire a designer to create. If you're an e-commerce brand, that's a totally different conversation but for what we're talking about our goal is to keep it really personal so let me just share with you some of the insights or some of the the approach here and you can take something and tailor to your particular use case but the idea is to get in front of people that already bought from you and get back into the in front of their mind and in front of their uh in front of them again so i'll stop fumbling i'll start talking about the strategy basically what we did is we originally had an idea of let's talk to people who booked last summer. So we're in summer right now. Uh, we started this about two weeks ago, so that was mid-June. And my idea was, okay, you know, we're here in Florida. Let's find all the people who are in the state or like within a drive that booked last summer and email them with some kind of a, first of all, thank you and a promo and just see if we can get them back. My thought is that, hey, look, these guys are local it's much easier for them to get here. So it's not like we have to hope that somebody that came in from Colorado is gonna wanna come back here again next year, right? That's just something we're not, not really sure about. So that was the plan. Well, what happened was I got a list and, and that list would have probably been somewhere between like three and 400 people, I'm gonna guess, something of that range, because it's about 10% of the total uh, bookings that we typically get are gonna be local, something like that. Well, we ended up getting a list of 2,000 people, which were, you know, roughly 2,000 people, which were most of the summer bookings. And these are people that were all over the place. So we didn't filter for location. I thought, oh crap, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be interesting. Cause I'm like, why would somebody out of state, well, not that why would they wanna come back, but what's the likelihood, right? So the plan was basically what you see here. We wanna send out the first email, which is basically a thank you. So thanking them for their business. Um, also just saying, hey, we'd love to see you back here. Uh, we also offered a summer promo. And what we basically did was we just said, you know, we'd love to see you back. If you're interested in saving a few bucks on your next booking, then reply to this email. And you can see right here, it says contact reply. So we said reply to this email and we'll send you a promo code. Now, the reason why I decided to do it that way is because I wanted to gauge the level of engagement from the list. So I could have just blasted it out um, without a request to reply to the email. But I'm like, man, how are we gonna know if there's really a lot of interest? Yes, we can get clicks or whatever, we can get opens, but I wanted to see how that would go. That was the whole point of testing. So that's what we did. So we sent out a few thousand, we got like within 24 hours, like 35 people, or maybe a little bit more, um, reached right back out and asked for the promo code. I'm like, okay, cool, awesome. So the next step that we're gonna do now, obviously those people have a chance to book. Um, they're gonna save a few bucks. It's not a, it's not a great, pro I mean, it's not nothing, but it's like $20 off, right? But we didn't tell people what the promo was. We just basically said, if you wanna save a few bucks, because then you're gonna be curious. <laughs> you're gonna hopefully reply back. Um, and then the plan is uh, to wait one month. So we're gonna be there in about a week. Wait one month and then do a midsummer reminder. So it's kind of like, hey, it's midsummer, you know, we love to see you out here if you haven't already gotten this way, if you're looking for something fun to do again, here's the promo code to save a few bucks on your next booking. So we put the promo code in this email and the following email. And of course this hasn't gone out yet, so we don't know what the results are gonna be. 
But um, the idea is just to, again, this promo was based on summertime. People were here last summer, they might want to come back. It might be a spot they visit every year. Or in Florida, it's a pretty common thing down here. So it's you know not like we're talking about Alaska, where you may only go there once in your lifetime. You're not going to probably go there every single year. Unless you're digging for gold like some of those guys do or something, I don't know. Um, so that's the idea for the midsummer. And then at the end of that, so we're basically waiting a month here, waiting about 28 days just to stagger the dates. They're not exactly the same all the time. And then the last one will be the end of summer. Like, hey, it's the end of summer. Not sure if you had a chance to do anything fun yet, but if you haven't, there's still a chance to use a promo code and come visit us. And there's a few, there's a little bit of other copy in there that helps them like want to come back. So there's some, you know, there's more to it than just what I'm explaining, but not a whole lot more. It's just mainly the point is come on, come on back. You know, we, we miss you. You have a great time. And basically so far what we've seen um, is a five, uh, four figure return so far. So, you know, mid four figures. So, which is pretty good off of about, you know, more, a little bit more than a dozen bookings. And when I look at the people in those bookings, from what I can tell, because in Florida, people are from all over the place and, you know, I'm judging mainly by their phone numbers because we don't have addresses for people. I can see two, two local area code uh, phone numbers and the rest are all people from other places. So really interesting. I didn't think I'd, uh, I'd see that kind of result. But the whole point of this video is really just sharing that, you know, a simple email blast like that could land you and everybody's business is different. And this is not a, you know, this is not a guy who just started yesterday, but you know, this is an extra four figures of revenue, which has basically no cost. I mean, there's a little bit of cost. They're using our platform conversion assist, which if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link to the comments, but it's basically right here. And this is specifically for tour operators. Um, adventure companies, water sports companies. It could work in other niches. We have used in other niches, but this is specifically what we're using it for. Um, but regardless of the software, you can use whatever the heck you want. You can use MailChimp, you could use your own Gmail account. I don't, it doesn't really matter. The point is, are you talking to your past bookings and are you giving them a reason to come back? Are you reminding them? Sometimes people just need a reminder. They don't need to be convinced. They just need to be reminded. So that's something to keep in mind. And then again, uh, it's something that you'd want to build into your regular process. So we're going to be building out campaigns that run, you know, all year, uh, all year long. And it's going to be a combination of things like this and maybe things that are just like holiday based and thanking them for being a customer on Thanksgiving. We're so thankful to have you or, you know, Christmas or, you know, things like that, you know, whatever holidays make sense. Valentine's Day, we love having you as a customer, like things like that. They just make a connection with them. Uh, and then we'll talk about some more rich, uh, like, basically content that we can provide to them, maybe content from the business, from people that they might have recognized from the business or more personal things. But for right now, um, this is good enough. I wanted to share that with you in case you've been thinking about email, you kind of haven't pushed, you know, really too hard on it. I, I, I wish I would have done this a little bit sooner for some of these guys because uh, we're just not an email company typically, but with Conversion Assist being our, you know, kind of the focus for this particular vertical, and having email integration there, it just makes sense to, uh, to spend a little more time making it easier for operators by having like templated campaigns like this and stuff like that. So regardless of that, I'm not pushing the software. I'm just sharing it with you and uh, hope it helps. Don't sleep on email. Uh, don't sleep on talking to your customers, I guess is the main thing. It's not just about the email. There's no magic here. It's just communicating with people. It's really all it comes down to. So just communicate with your past customers. They may like hearing from you, maybe share some interesting videos or photos or messages or whatever maybe a phone call which might scare people and they'll think why would i call them who cares leave them a voice message do a voicemail drop whatever um you know get into their inbox get into their mind and maybe you'll have them back the next time they're in town so anyway thanks for watching god bless and take care